Cute. I'm just a nigga pretending to be a priest. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that oh, means. Oh, yeah. And we have the lovely Yonce in the Hello. building. Yeah, she's Hello. killing Instagram, yo. <laughs> a grown man's fantasy. <laughs> a young man's fantasy, too. Yeah, Little young nigga's man. fantasy, too. Even some women. I yeah. love that. You love that? I love that. Okay, explain, <laughs> explain. We're going right into it. I heard... That you got your name Yonce from Beyonce. Yes. <laughs> can, Beyonce? You ex- can you explain that story? So I didn't know how to be sexy, and I used oh to watch my. I used to watch videos all the time. So I only know how to do Beyonce. So uh-huh. everybody used to just call me Beyonce, and then I just shortened it to Beyonce. So she's my inspiration. I noticed you don't she's have She's my the, role model. You don't have the perfection ass like them girls do. Nah, no, I'm all natural. Okay, because you know they they all get in the same needles. No, no, no. Wait a minute. I'm what? all natural. Yeah, they sharing the same needles in the ass. No, not me. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Every That's... girl in the strip club has the exact same ass. No matter how fat, skinny, light, dark, the ass is all the same with the same dents in the ass. Am I lying? You're right. Uh-huh. I okay. live this life, Viv. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right now. Let me, let me ask you this whole situation with when we hear the term video vixens mm-hmm. and that whole connotation. What's one of the biggest misconceptions people have about you? I'm a fighter. You when are? they say who, Yancey, who? they say fighter. Who you I'm fucked not up? A fighter. Who you have you fucked fought? up somebody to get that name? Who you fucked uh, up? Couple, you know, it's a couple, couple of, of models or niggas? Co- models or, or? I mean, there's one model that I wanted, but she didn't want the What's work, her name? So. What's her name? Please. 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 Exclusive. I need to know who's this girl so I can look at her so she can't talk shit. Erica like Mena. <gasps> oh, girl. They got beef. Boom. You, you said Say the no right more. name for her. Oh, my God. Say no God. more. But she was cute, Say though. no more. She was cute on Monday at my birthday party when she said happy birthday. I thought it was cute. I think she looked cute on Love & Hip Hop New York on nah, Monday. Nah, she, I'm, I'm not going to lie, she looked she good. Look, she did. She looked good. She looked she good. Did. She did. She stepped it up, but, you know. She did. She stepped it up. But you wanted to give her that work. Oh, yeah, Understand. definitely. I did, did yeah. Because I'm, I'm not, not an interview's on me. I'm not from Love & Hip Hop. I'm from the real world. Hello. Oh. Hello. Man. Would you ever do Love and Hip Hop? You look like you I got, got the offered fit. to do Love and Hip Hop. I did, but you know I have a son, mm. and I respect that. Um, the way that they make the you know the characters, look, the yeah. characters, is just is not. I don't like it. Mm-hmm. You know, especially watching the first season to the uh, the other day. I didn't like it at all. And I know some of the people that's on the show, and mm-hmm. none of them act like that in person. And I don't feel like it's, you know, I, don't, I just feel like it's a lot of negativity. And it doesn't make us African Americans, Hispanics look good at all. And I feel like it's the wrong way to portray us. I don't like well, it. Well, we're so here with our second guest. Oh, pardon. A boxer who yeah. I know from another show that I'm not going to promote. What show is that? I'm not saying. But we got the kid chocolate in here. How you doing? I'm a damn good time. Glad to be here. Yeah, straight off a of victory on this this past Saturday on Showtime on the undercard of Bernard Hopkins. I just made my record 30 and 30 and 0 with 22 knockouts. So yeah. That's wow. what's up. Yeah. What's your weight class? So, Middleweight, 160 middle. pounds, yeah. 160. So nobody ever knocked you out. Nobody. You know what? The dude hit me and it was a good punch, but I weathered through the storm. I think boxing is all about, you know. Taking <laughs> taking some shots, being able to know what to do, and that's what I did what's with it, this fight. What's it like taking a shot like? Because you know people have never been hit. Let me show you right now. You want me? No. To my, well, I've been hit before, uh-huh. but I don't want. Well, you know, those are I weapons. Think, that, that's, that's in a that's, jail that, time right there. That's what makes it. A, they, that's what make a boxer a boxer is knowing how to take a punch and know what to do. Actually, mm. you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. So you know, boxing is like not easy, uh, as you can tell. No, clear. Well, you know, because I I once I in 07, I seen Floyd made a. Floyd Mayweather trained from Zab Judah. This motherfucker was exercising with a Coca Cola can yeah. at the same time. Like, yeah, I'm a, this is what I'm do these niggas. You <laughs> know, I, he 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 make like hard work look so easy. Yeah, so that's what he do. He, he that's that's a good uh, marketing tool for showing people how prepared you are to be, mm. able to be ready and everything. So, you know, I kind of like 
you know, I take my stuff to a different level as well, you know what I mean? Would you ever drop down weight to fight Broner? Well, no, they, that's way too little. If I do that, I probably have to get he on a crack He won't be here. Bag. He's tall. Yeah, I had to get on a crack how much, yeah, how, much is, uh, how much does he weigh? Like one? He weigh like, well, he been campaigning at 147. I'm like one. My my last fight, I weighed in 159 pounds. Uh, 12 pounds. Uh, yeah, that's uh, real light, that's cool. yeah. I am your host at Gossip Viv. Yeah. You know. We've got Heineken scumbag in the Swerving building. Swerving strippers all day. Huh? And we've got my nephew Sicario in the building. What it look like. Latinas. <laughs> Uptown New York is in the building. So listen, when I told everybody right. mm-hmm. that Sicario was coming up to this 50, Rare. people started singing to me. And Rare. they were like, eh, and I can go. Yeah. So do you ever live that shit down? Nope. No. It's a reoccurring role like Seinfeld. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> We accept it. We, we, we love it, man. I mean, I love it. You know what I mean? I mean, that's the record that still opens up doors to this day. Mm-hmm. Everything that I'm doing to this day, regardless of if it's film, if it's music, whatever I'm doing, they know me from that record and it opens up doors. So, What's, what's that record? Who's on it? It's a record called If I Could Go um, <laughs> that I wrote for Angie Martinez. Um, it's a big top 40 record, if you know, radio formats. We did six months on the Billboard charts, you know. Gave me a number one album on Kids Bob, a gold album, yeah. a platinum album with Totally Hits, a few Ooh. other platinum and gold stuff. A yeah. lot of people outside of singing a song to me. Right. They want to know. Yeah. yeah, I believe it, though. What's up? She about if to you have... smashed Angie Martinez. I believe you did, look, nigga. Look, 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 when, when they bite the side of their mouth, like, oh. Listen, listen, listen. We'll, we'll clean it up. Did you ever have a chance to say hello to her over the phone? <laughs> <laughs> listen, Cause listen. She sang to you, my nigga. Listen, I just create music. You know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a, you I'm wrote a musician. For her. I'm a musician. I create music. So, That's so what, what was the royalty Look check? Look at his face. He's turning uh, red. Nah, it was either you slang cock <laughs> or you got a royalty check, my nigga. No, no listen, I, listen to me. You wrote the song for right, her. Right, right. Yeah, so yeah. you either slang cock or she gave you a royalty uh, check. You uh, ain't do that shit for the humble. Oh man. Fuck man. a radio spin. Uh, I don't. What are we doing, black? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Hey man, this I, is 50. at the end of the day, pardon me, she's a Shout mother. Shout out to 50G unit. You know? Mm, exactly. I don't want her sense. I mean, but this was back before she had a baby, so this is uh, not, you still, know, Still, her son could get older and think he could shoot at me. Uh, My yeah. bad, nigga. Yeah. But we got, you know, your mother's famous. So. Yeah, right, right. I don't know. I mean, I just make music, you know? Okay. I create. But Have she you said hello to, you, to Angie lately? Absolutely, all the time. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, see, what, what you was hear that, right? Drake tried to follow your lead, and she shut him down. What are you talking about? Drake was like, ah, oh, I need to take you on. She's like, oh, not, not, not today, nigger. I mean, she didn't say nigger, but. She didn't say that. I, I know, I, I added I, the nigger part, but you know, if there was no camera, she would have said, not, not, not today, nigger. She would I, not have said I don't know how she treat nobody else. Oh. I, just, I just know how she treat me. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 You was working with Gloria Velez at one point. Yeah, that, didn't, that didn't work shit, out. Yo. What happened with that? I don't know. It didn't work out. Was it because you were having sex? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the this 50 radio. Yo. <laughs> Yo. That the jabs are real. <laughs> it's not a jab, it's a question. Sounds like you got stories about her. What My you? nigga. Uh, listen. <laughs> That's His face I, is hey. turning red. I'm not sure how clear nah, the U stream is nah, coming nah, through, nah, but. Nah, nah. He cool. He ain't sweating or nothing. Nah, I don't know nothing about he nothing, man. All I can say is, all I can say is, with Gloria, we tried it. It didn't work. You know, we tried it and it didn't work. Don't say- Even Viv will tell you, like everybody's what? like, he sounds similar to Jay. Did that? It seemed like that catapulted you, but now it's not. Nah, def- it- nah, that ain't catapulted. I heard a I rumor. Mean, mm. Oh. And you, my nephew. Yeah. I brought it to you, and you you were cool with it. Yeah. But there was rumors, like in the street, like uh-huh. that Jay Z paid nah. you off. To I not come that. out, like to not come out with music. He's a funny nigga. He hasn't eaten Chinese food in what twenty years. I mean, oh, my my o, my OG always told me if when you, cause I never really did interviews like that. I was always against doing a lot of interviews. I just like to put out music, and I never would do interviews. Yeah, so, but yeah. you gave me some good interviews. I gave you, yeah, I gave you some That's good stuff. That's because he's my nephew. And what happens is, is that. <laughs> People, people, people want to, people, if, when you don't end your story, people want to end it for you and kind of like tell what they think happened. So I just let the streets run with whatever they think. All right. That, that's a yes. I, I'll say yes. <laughs> <laughs> he he uh, called you in the, he, he probably, you was walking somewhere. Look, said, Yo, young, nigga. young guru, young guru, Jay's engineer actually recorded like my first ever record. You know what I mean? We did a joint with, with Just Blaze and Lenny S's. I'm cool with, so I was always cool with the dudes on that side. Okay. Unbeknownst to a lot of people. I was always cool with dudes at Rock. That just Rock means, music, yeah. it just means. Yo, it's like when you go to a strip club and the stripper's whack, but you tipped her. 
It's like the money fell out your pocket. Right, right. You ain't wasted. That's what Jay did. He left something on the side of the road, and one of your niggas picked it up. It wasn't meant for you. I don't know nothing about it. Spending is my hobby. I'm bowling. Sorry. Lately I've been having dreams of crushing everybody. I'm going to see you motherfuckers at the top. I'm coming in my mind. So nothing but the quiet. They thought the shit was done, but the grind don't stop. I'm running through them one after one because I'm hot. I'm going to hit you, hunt like the drum. Make it drop. Then I'm looking for another one that takes my